this award is is an absolute privilege to to get. I'm a I'm a new researcher. I'm starting my position here within um, the last year at the university, and um, in the middle of a pandemic is always a bit challenging anyway. So I think you know the the fact that we have such generosity of of your foundation in supporting research and supporting researchers to build their teams and to you know really sort of get the ball rolling on new projects is is fantastic and and I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to to do that and to really expand the network of experts that I work with and um, expand our reach for our research and I look forward to being able to do that. I absolutely encourage you to donate to the Bandic Foundation. They're funding a lot of really great research projects, like hopefully my own. Um, and the money is really uh, directly helping with research and with training of graduate students who are gonna go on and do even more great research. So I highly encourage you and I thank you in advance. I would say that I think this is a very, you know, worthwhile cause as, you know, we saw with the, you know, the Banting legacy to invest in early career researchers because, you know, we often come in with new ideas and a lot of motivation and time and commitment to addressing these problems. So investing in people who are at the beginning with, you know, a lot of enthusiasm, I think is a very worthwhile endeavor and hopefully has a large, will pay large dividends for many decades to come. So if we have, you know, a lot, a lot to give and a lot of time to give it. I would say that one of the things I really admire about this program is the fact that it is providing seed funding for early career researchers. We're kind of speaking at a personal level at this point in your career where you just you want to get things going and um, it's really nice to have this type of program that allows you to help establish your track record and, and prove that that you can be be um, prove that you should be where you are and that you can go really far with what you're doing. So um, the early career type of research funding is so invaluable um, to many of us, not only uh, an assistant professor such as myself, but it's really great for the grad students in my program to be able to do, um, reach their potential and do what they can do. I would encourage all potential donors uh, to 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 you know look at all of the researchers and all of the all of the tremendous uh, scientists that uh, Banting has funded and all of the excellent impact that these researchers are having on patients' lives. Uh, so this there's a direct correlation between what 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 the donors are uh, giving to the foundation and and how much it's impacting um, impacting the scientists. You know by having this award, conducting this project, and obtaining the results from this project that that will then give me um, more success in applying for, for future awards and larger awards in, uh, as I move forward in my career. So I think having awards like this that are specifically for early career researchers are so important. As a, I guess, an early career investigator, um, one of the real challenges is, is, is managing um, so many different balls in the air. Um, getting a lab started, recruiting graduate students, um, teaching classes, um, all of these things. And it, it really takes away from your ability in many cases to, um, to apply for funds and, and really uh, be successful in that. Um, and so, and, and, and on top of that, as a new investigator, you're often competing with more established researchers. Um, and so the ability of the Banting Award to be focused on solely on early career researchers like myself, um, I think is really beneficial in that it sort of allows us to be in a somewhat of a different pool um, and allows us to jumpstart our, our research programs.